ahead of him in drones. Yeah, wow. That's that kinda was bad. a comeback. Holy smokes. Yeah, he went from 7 drones against 24 SCVs to, you know, 31 drones against 24, 26 SCVs. So, um, even when you're harassing and you're multitasking that, you gotta make SCVs, because... Macro, macro, macro. Because if he kept making SCVs, he would be, like, at 60 SCVs, you know? Something ridiculous like that. Yeah, he would have been way ahead. So, uh, I still... Okay, there we go. Stimpact Research is starting uh, just now. So, he's gonna be able to keep up with those Mulists. But I don't think Dud is, uh committing to that right now. What's he getting? He's getting a Banelings Nest? Uh oh, that could be terrible against the Marines. Yeah, the Zerg player actually saw all three barracks going down, so he does know that there's a lot of barracks right now, so, you know, that Baneling Nest is a pretty smart play from him. Uh, I really think he should be taking a third base right now. He's got the Terran player contained. Uh, he actually has no attacking units except, like, ten Zerglings. Which yeah, is good. That's, that's what you need to do as Zerg. You, like, no attacking units and then, you know, randomly pump out a huge force when you're about to get attacked. That third queen is doing a lot. Look at all those creep tumors. Yeah, great creep spread by Dud. I mean, seriously, he's caught right back up and is even pulling ahead now of the Terran player because um, I think Dud, oh, sorry, Catan's macro just slipped a little. Yeah, that queen does have a very upset stomach right now. Pooping all over the map. Wow, that's some good creep spread, really. Uh, 30 drones against 30 SCVs. 31 drones now. 39 lings. Uh, we see the centrifugal hooks coming out uh, for the banelings. Of course, that makes them roll. And man, those things are terrifying. Hey, they're actually like the Oh, side. look at all those banelings morphing in. Oh my goodness. 23 banelings. Holy smokes. How many does it take to to one-shot a planetary fortress again? It's like 29 or something. 29, or 30, yeah. Something oh, like wow. That. Yeah. I, I think Dud thinks he's really behind and he just wants to make an attack right now because there's no reason why he needs that many Zerglings and that many Banelings like at this moment. His Mutalists know exactly what the Terran player is up to and you know, they're not moving out anytime soon. So, those could have been drones but he wants to play it safe a little bit. But you gotta get your third hatchery up. He is breaking the rocks now, which is good. Yeah, and I think Catan right now is actually pretty, uh, you know, will would probably be able to defend against those banelings. I mean, he's got his siege tanks at a choke. He's got some marauders to maybe take some of the beef uh, from those banelings. So, I don't know about this uh, baneling, unless he's going to attack with them. But I feel like he's just going to wait until the Terran pushes out before using them. One thing I'm going to criticize Katan for is that he just keeps forgetting to make SCVs. He's at 33. He was at 31 like five minutes ago. Got to make more SCVs. As you can see, his mineral income isn't isn't very good. Actually, he's pretty good, but those are mules. That doesn't count. <laughs> uh, his supply is still ahead, 113 to 93. Um, but, uh oh oh, oh jeez, rolling bane links still on creep. That's just terrifying as a Terran player. I'm telling yeah, you that. and Dud has been doing a very good job spreading creep. And as soon as the Terran player steps on that creep, those bane links are just going to rip them apart unless those tanks siege up in a good position. Yep, we do see a Catan destroying those destructible rocks at the gold expansion. Um, does look like he's going to try and secure it. I would like to see him get a little bit more vision again. Um, you know, moving one or two marines just up to the watchtowers. Oh, he sees how far the creep has spread now. Going to see what uh, what he's going to do about it. No, sieging up right in the middle of the map. And the Zerg player does see this. He is pulling up his third base up, but this is not a very good timing. The turn player is right at his territory. And meanwhile, in the production tab, Oh, supply block. It's not a good place to get supply block as a Zerg player. Right when your opponent's about to attack you. Where are these factories going up? I'm seeing two factories by... Oh, there we go. Right in his main. Just in his base. Yeah, so I guess he's going to go for mech play. Oh, but we do see Dud circling around with his uh, units. Probably going to try and flank right into the natural. Oh, that could be huge. Yeah, the Zerg player's behind, and when you're behind, you got to do something drastic. Like, take out their natural when they're outside your main, or... You know, take out the third base, you gotta do something. Because if you're not gonna do something drastic like that, you're just gonna keep playing from behind. Yeah, now this is so key. I mean, take a look at that uh, Catan's Marine at that watchtower. He sees the Zerg army, he knows where he. Oh, wow. Where they are, and he's. Oh, there we go, he's unseaging. No, we gotta siege up, siege up, siege up! Oh, pretty late siege from, from the Terran player, but the Banelings are. Oh, no. Oh no, the Bane is just ripping apart all the infantry, but great but spread Katan by still Katan. still has a lot of Marines left. He did, actually did a pretty great split there, and... Oh man, the Zerg player doesn't really have much. 
yeah, I mean, like, Catan was out of position with those tanks, but he had a great uh, spread with his infantry, able to tank all the damage um, from those banings with the tanks, and he's moving out straight into the main now. Yep, he scans the natural, doesn't see any units, he's just gonna go for it. Tank siege up, they're gonna be in range of the natural. Good stutter stuffing by the Terran player, and those tanks are gonna make quick work of those drones. Oh, yeah. Fun. Uh oh. All uh, Dud has to pull off all his drones, trying to take out all this infantry, but I don't know if he can come back. Taking a look at the production tab, we do see 14 Zerglings coming out. Macro, macro so, so bad. bad. Which is actually pretty funny because I thought his macro. Um, it was alright, but macro like. Clip. He was, he was, he was, he did a good job catching up, but after that, he kind of fell apart. He could have, he should have taken his third sooner. Yeah, he definitely should have taken his third. Uh, right now, he has like 2k resources of each minerals and gas. And they're just kind of talking right now. They're both really sad. Right? Yeah, GG. Good game. It's nice to see players say GG to each other. Have some respect, guys. Oh, spectators, eh? Must have been an important match. Yeah, so that was a good game. Uh, a good game of uh, ZVT. I personally, I really like uh, ZVTs just because I think there's a lot of back and forth action. So uh, great play by both players. Um, I like that uh, Banshee play by Catan. And uh, I think it's just an issue of uh, a little bit of macro slip by both players. Yep, both players made good decisions, just macro guys. And yep. yep. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I'm CK. I'm JTN. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.